Good morning. Let us see today NQR spectroscopy. What is NQR spectroscopy? Okay. The theory of NQR spectroscopy and how NQR spectrum is obtained. How the NQR spectrum is obtained. Okay. Now first to see what is NQR spectroscopy. It is called a nuclear quadrupole resonance spectroscopy. For example, nuclei having I greater than or equal to 1. Nuclei having I greater than 1 or equal to 1, then they have nuclear quadrupole, electric quadrupole moment. Remember, for nuclei having I greater than or equal to 1, 1, 3 by 2, half integral or integral nucleus of quantum number values, it is represented by the nuclear quadrupole moment, is represented by EQ. Q is a measure of the nuclear charge asymmetry. For example, you see, this is nucleus symmetric nuclear charge. Symmetric nuclear charge. Here you see, nuclear charge is asymmetric, asymmetrical. Okay, the nuclear charge is asymmetrical. In the case of nuclear charge asymmetric, Nuclear quadrupole moment is observed. Nuclear quadrupole moment is observed for nuclei with asymmetric, asymmetric nuclear charge distribution. Okay, therefore Q is a measure of nuclear charge asymmetry. Okay. Now this nuclear quadrupole moment, this nuclear quadrupole moment interacts with the electric field gradient. Electric field gradient generated at the nucleus by the asymmetric electronic charge electronic charge distribution in the molecule uh, in the molecule surrounded by the nucleus okay so this nuclear quadrupole moment interacts with the electric field gradient due to the asymmetric electronic asymmetric electronic charge distribution surrounding the nucleus in a molecule okay this electric field gradient is represented by EQ or Q. Okay. And the, the nuclear quadrupole moment and the electric field gradient, they couple each other. They couple each other. Like uh, nuclear spin moment couples with the electron spin moment. Here, nuclear quadrupole moment, because of the nuclear charge asymmetry and electric field gradient, they couple with each other. The product of EQ and EQ, this electric field gradient, E square capital Q, Q, is called nuclear quadrupole coupling constant. What is nuclear coupling? Nuclear quadrupole coupling constant, E square, where E is the electronic charge, where E is the uh, value of the electronic charge, not minus sign. Okay. Now, the electric, how the electric field gradient is obtained? How the electric field gradient is obtained? The electric field of all the electronic charges, electronic charges surrounding the molecule, surrounding the nucleus in the molecule, is given by Vx. The electric field is a vector quantity, therefore it is given by Vx i, I cap plus Ey j cap plus Ez k cap, where Ex, Ey and Ez are the electric field along x axis, y axis and the z axis. Therefore, the electric from the electric field, the electric the gradient is obtained Q, that is Q, electric field gradient Q x x equal to dou E x by dou X. Q y y equal to dou E y divided by dou Y. It is expressed in terms of electrostatic potential, where V is the electrostatic potential, okay, dou square V, the electrostatic potential is obtained, the Vx is obtained by differentiating the electrostatic potential with respect to x. That is electrostatic gradient. Electrostatic, this is electrostatic potential gradient equal to Ex. So again you differentiate, you will get the electric field gradient. So for example, Qxy. Qxy equal to dou, dou square V by dou x dou y. You write the nine, uh, com, nine components vector component in the, in the arranged in the form of matrix 3 by 3 matrix q x x q y by q z z the diagonal elements okay so you can write all the terms using this dou square v by dou z x and dou x okay. now what is asymmetry factor 
what is asymmetry parameter? It is given by letter eta equal to q x x minus q y y divided by q u x x. The value of asymmetry parameter lies in the range 0 to 1. 0 to 1 for spherically symmetric eta equal to 1. For spherically symmetric, the asymmetry factor is 0. The asymmetry parameter is 0. Okay. Now, this uh, lengthua spectroscopy is uh, observed only in the solid state similar to mass wire. In liquid and gas samples, it is not observed. NQR spectroscopy cannot be measured for samples in liquid state and gaseous state. In liquid, why? What is the reason now? In liquid state and gaseous state, the molecules are fast tumbling. Because of the fast tumbling motion, like there is the electric field average, the electric field gradient, average of electric field gradient is equal to zero. Okay, because of the fast tumbling motion. Now on solving the Schrodinger wave equation for the nuclear protocol nucleus, it gives the energy expression, it gives the energy level, the various energy level. This is obtained, this formula is very, very important. It can be used, it will be used for solving many of your NQR spectroscopic problems, how many lines are observed. Based on this expression only, the energy levels are constructed. Um, the, how many lines are observed, etc. EMI, it is the energy expression is expressed in terms of magnetic uh, nuclear spin quantum number, EMI equal to E square Q Q divided by 4i 2i minus 1, 3mi square minus i into i plus 1. Okay. This is this is the energy expression for axially symmetric system. For axially symmetric system, Q x x equal to Q y y equal to minus 1 by 2 q z okay the mi equal to minus i minus i plus 1 plus i in this expression mi square is uh, mi square therefore minus 1 and plus 1 minus 1 square plus 1 square they are doubly degenerate for example let us see nitrogen nitrogen is uh, a nuclear quarter bond nucleus nitrogen is a nuclear quarter bond nucleus 7 and 14 I equal to 1 because of uh, I having greater than or equal to 1, it causes nuclear magnetic moment. Therefore, Mi value equal to minus 1, 0, uh, plus 1. Using or substituting the Mi values in this expression, you will get three energy values that is E0, 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 E0 equal to or substituting minus 2 by 4 E square Q Q and E plus or minus 1 since mi square is minus 1 square plus 1 square or same therefore the, the two levels are do the two levels have same energy therefore the two levels are degenerate therefore in the present in the present due to quadruple uh, splitting due to quadruple splitting it gives two levels ground state is uh, simply degenerate whereas the excited state E plus R is doubly degenerate. Okay. By using the selection rule now, delta MR equal to plus R minus 1, it is similar for uh, nuclear NMR spectroscopy, ESR spectroscopy. By using the selection rule, there is only one transition. By, there is only one transition in QR uh, For This is for electric field gradient equal to 0. Electric field gradient equal to 0. The, uh, that is spherically symmetric electronic distribution. Electronic distribution. Uh, there is only only nuclear quadruple moment coupling. Because of this, it splits into two levels. Okay, now you can calculate the delta E, e by, that, that is E plus or minus plus E naught from the NQR spectrum. From the NQR spectrum, the frequency is also obtained. Therefore, you can calculate the the quadruple coupling constant. Quadruple coupling constant can be calculated. May be asked in your problem. Now, for eta, the asymmetric fact parameter is not equal to zero. That is for non-axial symmetric system. Non-axial symmetric system it further splits into three levels. It further splits the degenerate levels or further splits. Minus 1 plus 1, therefore 
v equal to 0 means say minus 2 by 4 a square to c that is no asymmetry here so same whereas here you have asymmetry that is for including asymmetric term same 1 by 4 a square to q 1 plus or minus theta okay so you can there will be two using the correction rule there are two NQR transitions observed from the experiment and you can also get two energy expressions e plus r minus 1 e naught e e minus 1 e naught and e plus 1 e naught there are two energy expressions using these two energy expressions using the two energy expressions and the experimental observed frequency one can calculate the asymmetric parameter and also the quarter for e square quarter for coupling constant so you may be asked in your problem also and let us see another example in boron 511 i equal to 3 by 2 it splits into two levels uh, plus r minus 1 and uh, plus r minus 1 by 2 plus r minus 3 by 2 that um, for eta equal to 0 eta equal to 0 for periphery symmetric uh, respect to gradient okay now only one NQR transition is observed, uh, these two are, as I said, mi square, these two are doubly degenerate, okay. In the presence of magnetic field or Zeeman effect, due to Zeeman effect, eta not, or in the case of eta not equal to zero, these levels further split, plus one by a plus of, minus of, plus three by two, minus one by two. By using the selection rule, there are two transitions observed. Similarly, they may ask how many transitions are observed for i equal to pi by 2, i equal to 2, etc. Similarly, you can draw the various energy levels using this formula, the energies, uh, the energy levels, the energies are calculated, the delta E can be calculated, therefore you can calculate the uh, quarter for coupling constant and also asymmetric parameter for the Yes. Thank you for watching.